Hey YouTube, Abby here. Joining me is a special guest, Evelina, and you might have seen her from the live stream. And we're here to review the patch notes coming to the mid-season with the K-pop Les Seraphim collab. Let's not waste any time and get straight into it. I'm so excited. Evie, are you excited? Are you excited for the? <laughs> yeah, changes? I am. All yeah, right. yeah. We got tanks coming up first. We got Diva straight away. Movement speed penalty reduced for her fusion. Ca okay. What? Oh God! All right. <laughs> I okay. My I thought that the diva would actually diva, get a buff with diva, the skin. No, uh, well, no, this is a buff. She's it's 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 not the other way around. It's she's she's losing her. So basically, this means she can move faster when she's shooting. That's a big buff. And then projectile speed on micro missiles increased from forty to fifty. Oh wow! Okay, hmm. damn, they've been buffing yeah. diva over and over and over and over again. She's not even that bad. This. Diva is becoming flavor of the month now. What is this? Doomfist. Developer comments. This change will give stun players more times to react. Following a wall stun. Rocket punch. Minimum wall stun duration decreased. Zuper to 15. Max wall duration stun decreased from 0 0.75 to 0 0.6. What? Doomfist uh, got why? hard mode? <laughs> what? Why? He's not even doing it. It's Diva Discord. Japan, Japan, played for one, for, uh, Japan played Doomfist for one. Japan played like a Doom comp for a little bit, and Blizzard was like, Yeah, we need to murder Doomfist, get it over with. And then they over buffed it. <laughs> wow, okay. Winston, hi. Developer comments, increasing the range. Okay, I mean, that's fine. It doesn't really do anything. That's that's a nice, it's more of a yeah, quality it's of decent. Life. <laughs> hmm. Secondary fire, range increase, whatever. Um, configuration assault cooldown increased to twelve. Weapon spread increased by ten. Oh, that's really nice. That I I think that's, now Bastion uh, is back. For is the it a semi like? No, this is a nerf? Yeah, it's, this is a pretty big nerf. <laughs> so increasing the spread means mm. that his shots are going to be like more all yeah. over the place. I believe the longer he shoots, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me on that. And then the cooldown, like you have twelve seconds before you can go back into his turn form. Cass is my grenade. That's good. That's good for Bastion. Cass is my grenade gets nerfed again. The Cass is already like one of the worst DPS. <laughs> Why is he getting gutted? He's getting gutted again and again. What is going on? He's. What is this? May and the thermal oh, blast. Oh, uh, Wait, wait, wait. No, uh, she got a buff. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got a yeah. buff. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I got a cuff. <laughs> I gotta cut that out later. Okay, we're back. Um, with some of the recent changes, May is now slightly overperforming. In which ELO? Who is playing this? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Slow effect decrease from 40 to 30? I mean, it's fine. I'm not complaining, but I don't think May is ultra strong. Somber got a buff. There should be a little bit more in here, but yeah. granted that this is a support nerf patch, it's fine. We have to wait and see. Symmetra, okay, with Sim recently gaining more lethality in long range. She's no longer as reliant on playing at close range, so we're reverting her total health back to 200. Oh. I mean, oh. this is unnecessary. Oh. Like, Sim, what? Like, this This is so random. This is such a weird it's nerf. They got the red use of your shield. Okay. So, mm. Developer comments, recon visor. What the heck is a recon visor? You mean infrasight. It's taking a long time to charge on average relative they don't to, know. compared to other alts. So, Widowmakers also adding more severe disadvantage against Sombra with the recent rework. So these changes should add a little bit more counterplay. The Widow's Kiss unscoped unscope shots to reach maximum spread increase from 3.7. Oh, oh my god, Assault Rifle oh Widowmaker, why am I God. Now? <laughs> <laughs> reduced. Uh, this is fine. Like, it's it time for it me to main Widowmaker. <laughs> <laughs> assault Rifle Widowmaker coming in. <laughs> no, no more sniping. I'm joking. This is like, this is fine. It's a quality of life thing. <laughs> And it's not going to do much for Widow. So Sombra is just really good into her right now. Oh, here we go. Oh, the support nurse. All right, here we go. Oh. Anna Nade. There we go. Cooldown increase from... Wait, no. okay, so they didn't, they didn't touch the passive, I see. Cooldown increase from 10 to 12 seconds. Interesting. I, well, this, it's not that I, much, I, though. I, they, like, it's, for it's two long, seconds. No, no, no. Those two seconds are pretty long. That, that's, a, that's, that's a team fight mm. start or team fight end. You know, you got to think about it a little bit there. Uh, it's not yeah, enough because true. the nade, the, the actual nade itself still retains its strength. Depending, like, now you have to mostly be careful with nade. Like, this 12 second is an alarm to the Ana that, you know, on average, like, now you should definitely be using it more passively than aggressively. So it's to discourage that. Like, because if you use it aggressively and you mess it up, 
for 12 seconds there's a window where Anna is vulnerable right so I, I in my perception mm-hmm. this doesn't solve like it, it's not enough from Anna's perspective but I understand why I would have liked to see a, a, a slight um radius dec- decrease so it's a little bit like more tight so you have to be accurate with the nade or just change the anti-effect to healing reduction rather than healing shutdown that's still my opinion but whatever all right baptiste here we go oh my god i'm so sick of him the metality field health decrease from 150 <laughs> to 125 cooldown increase from 20 uh, um this is the doing decrease. anything this Th- doesn't do anything yeah exactly Why? it doesn't do anything this, this is so much more different than like anna getting two seconds on nade and Bab getting two seconds on immortality field. So w- let me get this straight. Bab still has high survivability. Bab still has high damage. Bab still has high healing. Bab yeah. still has like four it, HP uh, bars. Like, this has healing. done absolutely nothing. <laughs> this has done nothing. What is this? They decreased the health. <laughs> this, like, yeah, by, but, 24, like, by, by uh, 25, 25 points. <laughs> like, oh, great. I mean, yeah. the, the problem is not the fact that you have to... It's not the pro- the health is not the problem whether it was at 150 or 125. The problem is that it's still in the They're trying HP to do bar. it slowly, I think. No, man, <laughs> it's just slaps on the wrist so far. Okay, okay, Iliari. Yeah. So, Iliari's overall damage output is a bit too high. So, we're reducing how consistent her solar damage rifle is to apply. Good, finally. Her weapon has some other disadvantages, such as needing to charge up and a reduced critical damage multiplier, but we'll be evaluating how much of an effect this change has in combo. We reduced pylon uptime. Okay, so I'm interested about this. Solar rifle primary fire projectiles are reduced from 0.1 to 0.05 meters. Oh snap! So they 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 gave her the same bullet size, like every other hit scan. So it'll be harder to land shots with her now. That's a very interesting nerf for her, and in, in the damage side. Now what about the healing side? Uh, healing pylon base HP reduced from 75 to 50. Total 100 HP. Still a little bit too tanky, but willing to test this out. Cooldown when destroyed increased to 50. Oh god, that oh that window for Iliari oh, and her team is now oh you have to be really careful yeah. playing Iliari now. Oh wow, yeah, f- yeah. Uh, okay. Kiriko Suzu <laughs> Kiriko gone up got to a slap seconds. on the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> By one second. They were so scared. They were so scared that that's <laughs> Kiriko man. <laughs> What is, this? <laughs> what is this? Everybody this... has a, a, an increase for, I, you know for like two seconds, three <laughs> seconds, but then <laughs> Kiriko happened. You, you know what I love? <laughs> like they've targeted all the right abilities and areas, but they've done <laughs> yeah. so far. They've done like nothing to to, they're to address the be so, yeah they're, they're being yeah. so slow. They they were like, this is going to be the big one. We're saving the big one for mid season. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah, we'll make support. They, a they're bit scared. More like, this is they're scared like, of support. This is, yeah, this is the most like, we're scared. Oh, whoa, 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 what is this? Life Weaver. Total oh. healing over a match is too high than any other. Heal- yeah, that's kind of true. So we're making so, oh, Life Weaver got nerfed. Healing Blossom. Mm, Ammo reduced yeah. from 20 to 16. That's unnecessary. Max heal reduced from 75 to 70. I mean, most Life Weaver players weren't even okay. taking it to 75. It usually went up to 60. Yeah. So, like, this is. Okay, I Who think. Who does it? I think the. That's fine. No, I mean, of course, you do it in 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 the cases where you need to do it, right? But yeah, in cases yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 of you're course. Still but usually uh, charging it up to be rapid succession fires, not. No, this ammo change is actually like overall sustain for him has gone down. Life grip cooldown increase. Oh God, it's higher than what it was before. For, uh, like I believe the original cooldown was eighteen. They put it all the way up to 19 and they didn't even talk about why they nerfed life grip i don't know I yeah think, yeah they don't need I think to i i know life grip can be really annoying but it wasn't an ability that was oppressive I, I, it did erase a tank's mistakes when a tank deserved to be caught but i don't know like i'll talk about everything in just a second hey so like last... abby if you if you look at the um... No, I, uh, life yeah. ever, and then just look at the Kiriko. What happened to Kiriko? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and, uh, we don't it's talk just about funny. That. Okay, no, it's, so, it's, fine. it's like, <laughs> the only thing they need to address on Kiriko uh, for her protection Suzu. It was actually the protection Suzu. Sorry, but the problem is <clears throat> it was the invulnerability, right? 
like this the, the uh, so if you kind of look at the trend here except life fever of course the the frustration parts of what is strong about the, some of these abilities like healing pylon or protection suzu or immortality field or biotic grenade right the actual frustration they got aspect, them right no no the abilities were correct yes but what they mm. were actually supposed to what what player frustration is towards has less to do with the cooldown timers themselves than the actual like what the ability does once it comes up right like you like protection suzu like kiko plays have gotten good with it like there's no denying it like whenever this does drop what it's supposed to bring and the game changing factor that it's supposed to bring is still going to happen nade and its effects that it brings of doing almost four things in one go is still going to be a thing a mortality field turning baptiste into a mini tank is still going to be a thing it's like uh, honestly the only ones that really got nerfed in here are probably Iliari and Life Beaver. The rest of them, Ana, Bap, Kiriko, just got little slaps on the wrist. Like, Bap is already hard meta right now in World Cup. Like, and honestly, like, good, like, n like now in Iliari, like, you have to land your shots. Like, like those projectiles yeah. now, like, oof, like, you, you gotta hit those. Like, otherwise, like, you're not doing anything on her. But, but still, like, I, I don't know. Like, Iliari, I, I feel like, is a, Iliari <clears throat> is a good nerf. Life Beaver is okay. I'll say that it's okay. I I don't think he's meta, but like if you were to actually nerf overall healing in the game and life ever became meta, then these changes that he got make a little bit more sense. This just feels awkward. Like I do get he's healing a lot over time, but it's almost like I don't know, perhaps over buffing tree of life is where that healing is actually coming from mm. and not his healing blossom, which I believe is his primary fire. So yeah, anyways, that brings us to the last candidate, Zenyata. Now Zen is just awkward. He doesn't he doesn't really appear nowadays because Iliari was just the better Zen, and uh, I they have to, uh, let's let's read the comments. Goal of these changes was to add more counterplay against Discord Orb and encourage Zenyatta players to think more about who to place it on, which is nice. Now, if the effect ends for any reason, the target is temporarily unable to be targeted again by Discord Orb. Oh, oh a new good. soft targeting uh, reticle appears when aiming towards an enemy that cannot be affected by Discord. This is a significant change both to how the ability feels to use, how players is to understand. So we'll keep a close eye on player feedback. Base health increase from 50 to 75, total 225. Oh, so Zen got tankier this patch. So Zen got yeah. 225 HP. And Harmony Orb, time to wear off when not in line of sight, increased back to 5 seconds. Oh no, but this is the he the Harmony Orb, that got a buff. Oh, so Pocket, the flanker, uh, Pocket, the Tracer playstyle is back. And... Orb of Discord can no longer be reapplied to the same target for 7 seconds. Range increased to 40. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, honestly, oh, this is a really good change. Smart. Uh, yeah, everything in here Zen is really good. Like, he was kind of awkward and a little bit in and out of the meta. This this probably won't make him hardcore meta because the, the poke comp, the poke problems that we're in right now are still really, really prevalent. And it's not like Dive got a big buff in here. Like, it's not like Brawl got a big buff in here. If anything, the only dive relevancy was through Doomfist, and that just got ultra nerfed. Like, Doomfist's power of being able to stun mm. people and kind of, like, you know, deal with them. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel like this Rocket Punch change really ruined Doomfist. Like, they, they really should have Yeah, they did. This. It was like, really hard. This is, they were really hard on him, I honestly. feel like this, this is, like, he's, he, this is barely 0 0.6 seconds. Like, it, it seems like not like a big deal. But think about the different cooldowns that can come up faster and everything. Like, Doomfist has barely any follow-up now. Like, now there's no... Like, oh, man. Like, we're still in this weird Orisa zone. Yeah, yeah. Meta, and <clears throat> overall, healing never got dealt with. O overall, like, healing is still incredibly high. And, like, all they've Look, done I is really just... believe that they, they... They're just scared to touch support yet. I'm really thinking that they're just, you know... Um, right, shooting Valkyrie with... Yeah, These are just like, extra options. Think? These are just extra options. But, oh, okay. Like, don't, don't um, worry about it. But know? yeah, like, I think that they're just going slowly about it because they know that, the uh, you know, support mains are going to cry if uh, they just uh, change the whole Kiriko Suzu. What? But your support mate, what do you think? <laughs> you play life with Kiriko on... Uh, <laughs> hey, you know, I know, I know. Look, uh, I... <laughs> so how do you feel? Okay, yeah, I know you're enjoying hey, life fever. I... Uh, this is... Look, I'm, I'm really honest. Like, Kiriko is just ridiculous what they've done, honestly. 
<laughs> if they is, wanted to do something with Shuzhou, if they don't want to remove the whole immune uh, thing, yeah, the immune, invulnerable, immune, yeah, the sorry, um, they can they can uh, they can increase the second the co- seconds on the cooldown, like, but not fifteen for, from like, fourteen no, to fifteen. I feel like <laughs> come on now. <laughs> okay, okay, you know, I'm going to be real, right? Because you have to think about these things objectively in a team fight. The problem is, is that all of yeah, these no, characters. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. Mm-hmm. The problem yeah, with yeah, all yeah, sorry, these sorry. characters is that they're still going to be working together. So these cooldowns stacking up together is still going to be things like okay, it's nice to increase the cooldowns to to get to like create a little bit more windows of opportunity to punish these characters, but it's like it, but it's also just kind of like, well, supports already know how to manage these cooldowns like. They do seem big on paper. Uh, I'm not denying it. They, they they can make differences in a decent amount of scenarios. There's there's no denying it, right? But you didn't actually address the problem. Like, yes, congrats, you addressed Biotic Nate. Except a lot of tank players don't like it when the healing is shut down. Like, what is Junker Queen going to do when she gets antied? It's GG. If you don't have Kiriko, you, you lose, right? Like, it's pretty much just, okay, now I die. You know, I can't escape. I, there's nothing I can do. Right? Immortality Field, Baptiste literally has four HP bars. The shift, the immortality field, the support passive that can trigger over time if you don't take damage as you're rotating cooldowns. Like, hey, I'm not talking about Baptiste. No, no, I, I, no, I, gotta, <laughs> talk about, I, gotta, I gotta talk about everybody. <laughs> I gotta talk about everybody objectively, right? So, ba- ba- Bab's problem mm-hmm. has not been dealt with. Um, Iliari, they actually dealt with it. Like, they understood the problem and where it's coming from. I don't think base HP reduce or cooldown increase uh, to punish Iliari this hard um, was a thing. I feel like next patch she will 100% get buffed because they were like this, in my personal opinion, this is not the way to nerf healing pylon. The best way to nerf healing pylon is to just put it on a timer. Like it's up on a wall for let's say a maximum 10 seconds. It gets destroyed. It goes on a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 second cooldown and then Iliari can put it back up again. And, and in that window, like, Iliari has to balance healing and damaging. Like, okay, I can damage because the pylon is up. Pylon got destroyed. I got to chill. I got to play support uh, the team for a little bit. And then I rotate. I feel like that's just much better, right? Like, that's just more healthier gameplay I mean... design. And it discourages the pocket playstyle. Like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I know you haven't watched the World Cup and you haven't seen the clip where mm-hmm. Iliari single-handedly heals an honor through <laughs> a Sigma alt damage combo. It's, it's something. Aww. But uh, no, yeah, now same thing with Kiriko, protection Suzu, it's like the strength of Suzu has nothing to do with its cooldown. Like when it comes up and uh, if you time it right, like for example, you know, you save Suzu for Junker Queen out, right? Now she just flies through you. You drop that Suzu, the frustration of what Suzu is able to do is still very much a thing, right? And again, there's ways to deal with it. We spoke about it in countless videos now. But in my personal opinion, like, yeah, this is a slap on the wrist. Like, uh, Kiriko is also kind of awkward because at least on overbuff her win rate seems bad. If anything, her win rate suggests that Kiriko actually needs to be buffed. Uh, although we know overbuff is very inconsistent because of private profiles and things like that, and all sorts of other you know uh, things, uh, factors and elements that can be considered. But I personally think like like I think Iliari and Life Fever were dealt with. Like these two are now characters that we should just leave alone. Zen. I'm not going well, I do kind of think it's unnecessary. Too. Yeah, like, I don't think Zen needs to be touched for the moment because the meta characters are a bit strong. But I feel like, like, okay, even Ana, I'm willing to look, o- uh, look over, which is like, okay, fine, whatever, shrug. But holy crap, like, they will 100% yeah, no, but with needs... BAP. They are coming for BAP yeah. In, yeah. in the next <laughs> season. Like, they, like BAP, this yeah, is not enough. Yeah. They will, like, they need to understand the problem with the mortality field. And Suzu, like, another thing to notice is that the only time here that we see in any form of healing reduction is once we get to Life Weaver. And at least at the moment, nobody's yeah. complaining about Life Weaver's healing. Yeah, he puts out some big numbers, but because there's such a big window of punishment, of he has to charge it up, he has to toss it, it has to travel, and then heal a target, there's so much room for you to actually just delete that target before... So, it's like, we don't care. Like, yeah, Tree of Life is pretty strong. And that was pretty much what I was saying that, well, Tree of Life needs nerf. And they just nerfed some other aspects of escape, which is like, I mean, okay, it doesn't change the fact that he's like, okay, Tree of Life charges slightly slower. 
um it still comes up incredibly fast um and when that thing comes up like the big uh, heel creep problem in the game has not been addressed so while Zenya, like for example Zenyatta's orb of discord and the power shift in his whole kit good i i like it it it, it makes him feel healthy life weaver needed a nerf but in my personal opinion the wrong area right like this is okay, but the, again, not the area which should have been nerfed. Kiriko, slap on the r wrist of Suzu. It doesn't actually solve its problems. People will complain, and they will have to they will have to evaluate Suzu again. Iliari, yeah, mm, but the... it's okay. Yeah. yeah, what's up? No, no, no. Like, uh, like there is like nothing else that they can do with Kiriko. Like, uh, uh, change and to remove the. Uh, invulnerable yeah, thing from what Suzu. Want. What's the point of the Suzu? Like no, 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 no. Uh, so yeah, see, but Suzu... they cannot. I can understand their side too. Like uh, uh, increasing the cooldown is a good option. Like for me at least, uh, it would be you know better for a, a cooldown increase from like fourteen to like sixteen or something like right, that so... to make you think that hey, I have to manage my cooldowns and you know, right, so I know uh, and you're... know where to yeah, Suzu. Exactly. So this is this is the beauty of having but, somebody. Uh, this is the beauty of having somebody that's a little bit more new to the game and things like that. So I'm I'm just gonna like try to fill you in on the frustration point of Suzu, right? When it comes to Suzu, we want uh, an ability that can cleanse, right? And they net buffed it uh, a few seasons ago. To if you cleanse something or someone, they get more, even more heals, right? Uh, including yourself. So in that regard, people people are okay with like the concept of Suzu of you drop it it's a burst heal uh it can cleanse right the problem begins when it also brings that in in vulnerability frame for one second uh for a lot of tanks and specific dps interactions that one second can completely screw them over right um so mm. uh especially for tanks like a, for for example like reinhardt hits an earth shatter if Kiko didn't get caught, she tosses suzu she immediately brings no no i can understand that yeah everybody back up so that like those type of interactions and things like that that's a bit you know that's where suzu becomes silly so it's like they know this so their idea is okay no we don't want to deal with those like frustrating frustrating parts of the kit like for example same thing here with that piece right they know that he basically has four hp bars with the mortality field right but r like rather than finding a way to really shut it down and bring it down to let's say maybe 100 hp 50 hp you just need that first they won't do it right to... uh, in one yeah, part they, they though like right yeah yeah it's one of those things where it's like okay let's do it let's be real how, yeah let's do it, <laughs> see how it goes and what happens the, okay this is my prediction right yeah the problem with this patch is okay i'm willing to take the cooldown nerfs um towards the sustainability aspects of each of these characters fine i take it i i personally think zen life weaver Iliari, thumbs up. Kiriko, okay. It, it, not what I want changed, but okay. Willing to see how it goes. Baptiste, willing to see how it goes. Anna, willing to see how it goes. The inherent problem is that the healing is still out of control. And the only character that got the healing nerf is the character that, like, as far, at least as far as I know, didn't need it. Nobody complains about it. Nobody complains about Life mm. Eaver's mid fight healing. Like, it's barely there. Like, he just compliments another main healer well so it's one of those cases where it's like i mean sure but the the strength of life weaver's healing is not actually from his healing blossom it's in tree of life so it's one of those things where it's like yes he is doing a lot of healing but it's a, but it's not it's not in the healing blossom it's it's in the, the tree of life it's a tree and yeah that's one of those things look it's like... an ultimate like i can give him like you know a pat on the shoulder for, only for that because it's an it's an ultimate somebody, but somebody yeah. in chat suggested a few days ago and i and i agree with it which is that the over health shouldn't go to 100 because that's turning everybody into a tank and that's obviously not good because we don't want more tank. goats yeah we yeah, don't want true. more goats like uh, so instead a 50 over health is more than enough so normal 200 HP character goes to 250, they don't go to 300, right? So they still mm, stay in yeah. some healthy ranges. But, but and, and, and another thing is, um, if they're breaking through the damage, the three of li uh, life pulses is still healing you up. 
so you still have that great niche that okay this is a great like uh tool utility tool ultimate that helps us in team fights in its own unique way and you know it comes in the form of being able to create disruption blocking off you know choke points and things like that so it has like you know strength in many different ways you just have to be creative and now you use it so the way i see it i don't think life fever is base healing uh, okay it, they shouldn't nerf his ammo like the ammo thing is like life fever players will definitely feel this one like yeah when, i remember when i was playing Genji, yeah surely. And, we, and we dropped down like by four ammo like yeah that thing hurt because you have to reload so much more but I don't think the max heal for healing blast should have been nerfed. We should have slightly removed the power from the tree. But I also agree with your sentiment that it's an ultimate. It should feel somewhat strong. But then I can also argue that there's a lot of mm. tank ults and there's a lot of DPS ults right now that don't feel strong. Yeah. So what about them? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, no, of course. No, of course. I'm, just, I'm just teasing. The only thing I'm concerned <laughs> about is this ultra diva. Okay, little editing magic <laughs> we've done here. We had some audio issues. But it's time to give our concluding thoughts about the patch notes and uh they're okay changes i think doomfist one is a bit too much um i think the diva one is also a bit too much winston is nice quality of life wise bastion is uh, is okay but i think with how high healing can be that's complementing bastion and even characters like ursa a lot more right now and it's allowing them to get away with their playstyles more than anything else willing to see this i think the cast need nerf like i i, I just think cast is in a bad spot like i don't think he, we should be touching him for a while may um may is okay like i don't i don't i really really don't see where she's overperforming. i i if anything i would argue that because of the way uh high healing is in a, is in everything um she's actually underperforming she was performing in season one because healing wasn't out of control uh with the way her kit worked now it's just like okay maybe she's maybe she's i, I don't know they maybe somewhere in some region maybe it's a regional difference maybe in na but in eu i don't see me i play higher level and i don't see me uh, oh wow we actually got a new sub in real time that's nice um that's going to be it for us uh evie if you would like to say thank you to everybody and goodbye and we will call it here <laughs> for this video of course thanks guys thank you everybody for watching bye -bye. if you want to support the channel for free <laughs> you can always do so by hitting like and subscribe if you want to support us me and her together as we run this channel then you can do so by <laughs> using the super chat feature until we get a patreon set up now with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video